we have hit double zero one with its analog input. So to perform that task, we have to complete our software part first. So to complete our software part, we have to go to our measurement input output function where we will see the first function of NI Dacmax and in NI Dacmax we, we have to select the data acquisition functions which is channel, start, read, stop, clear and in dialog box, error out. And now we have to interconnect all these function icons. After interconnecting all that function blocks, we have to select analog input. We will take it as voltage. Single channel, single sample, DBL form. We have to give our minimum and maximum value. In physical channel, we have to create constant. Here we will select our ports. We will see the function. Here we will see the print data coming from our hardware part. As we have mentioned, our minimum and maximum value we have to create that minimum and maximum value in our uh, front panel meter. So for continuous run, we have to select while do. As we have to, um, as we have to uh, take the uh, input from a hardware part, we have connected the potentiometer in our hardware part with a uh, national instrument USB six double zero one. When we rotate the knob of potentiometer, we will see the changing output in our software part. When we run the program, you can see that when we rotate the knob of potentiometer, our meter is rising, and decreasing also when we rotate the potentiometers okay. now we are going to perform our analog input program on hardware so this is our national instrument usb 6001 this is and here you can see that this is our analog input and output ports and in other side this is our digital input output ports so as we have chosen in our software part analog input port 0 so this is our analog ports analog input ports and this is our port 0 so we have to connect the potentiometer which is this is potentiometer in this potentiometer this is this wire is ground this is our signal pin and this is vcc which is 5 volt so now we have to connect this potentiometer with our usb 6001 to perform the task of analog input so now we are going to make connection of this potentiometer with ni ni USB 6001 so as you can see that we have connected our potentiometer this is our ground pin this is our analog input port 0 pin which we have chosen here and this is our 5 volt pin which which we have taken from the distal point 5 volt so on uh, applying all these now we will perform that task of hardware connection with software to see the results now we are going to run the program in software and take the data from hardware so now we have to run the program here we will run the program and now the program is in running mode as we rotate this knob our meter will show the 
data which we, which are giving by this potentiometer this is our rotatory potentiometer from which we will get the data thank you